we'll start with uh, Dorothy here on the right. Hi, Kari. Right down here. Dorothy Gentry. I'm Messenger Media from Dallas, Texas. Kari, share with us what you're feeling right now, uh, just your thoughts um, mentally. How do you uh, get yourself geared up for game two? Uh, just grateful for the experience to get through game one. Um, you know, just a lot of emotions going into it and uh, just waiting for the opportunity to get out there and compete, um, you know, going against a great Celtics team. So uh, we just had to get this one out the way and we didn't perform the way we would have wanted to tonight. Um, you know, it starts with me just being able to get out there and get us settled. Uh, I got to take some accountability for it, just the communication and um, just going out there and getting used to the way that the um, kind of environment was going to be. Um, but I think my teammates did a great job of staying together, sticking to the game plan. We obviously made some mistakes, like I said, but um, we gave ourselves a chance in the second half and uh, we just got to continue to do the right things and uh, win the quarters as, as much as we can. Uh, they came out and hit us in the mouth early, got the home crowd going into it, down 17 in the first quarter. It's not... Um, really like us to give up 37 points. It's happened to us before in the playoffs, but we just want to make it a lot tougher on them. And um, they hit a lot of threes. And again, when you get them rolling like that, they play a very easy game the rest of the game. And um, we just got to hit them in the mouth a little bit. So they did their job getting game one, um, but we're going to take our lessons and get ready for a good game too. Here in the front, Tim. <clears throat> Tim McMahon, ESPN. Kyrie, obviously with you and Luke, you guys have two of the best one-on-one -on -one players in the world, but ball wasn't moving tonight. How do you avoid with the way that the Celtics play defensively, you know, falling into kind of the trap of relying on isolation and, and becoming stagnant? I wouldn't I don't necessarily agree that's a trap, you know, that they want to set us. I think that they really rely on their great defensive ball pressure, their one on one defenders, and uh they funnel us into certain areas. I mean um, you know, even as I say that, that they're relying on the one-on-one, -on -one, every time I got an ISO, there's, you know, almost two, three people waiting for me to get in there. So I got to catch the ball on a live dribble and just be aware of my opportunities. Uh, it's uncharacteristic for us to have only nine assists. Um, the ball's got to move a little bit more. And it, again, that starts with me just being able to push the pace, get us some easy opportunities. No, that was Luka. Uh, just adjust to what they're throwing at us. That was so Luka. It's a, it's a fun series, um, you know. It was fun just you know going into the game. It's still going to be fun, but uh, there's going to be a level of chess that still has to be played. And, um, you know, game one was just about adjustments. We obviously wanted to win this basketball game, gave ourselves a chance in the second half when we were down by eight. Then they brought it up to 16, and it got up to 22, and we called the timeout. Um, so just going to be replaying some of these possessions. Um, but, you know, at the same time, um, look at some of the pauses that we can carry on to game two. Here in the front, Mike. Kyrie, Mike Curtis, Dallas Morning News. Um, you mentioned the environment. How did that either meet or kind of exceed your expectations? And how did it affect you tonight? No, I mean, it's, it's basketball at the end of the day. Um, you know, being in this environment, um, you know, I'm used to it at this point. Um, you know, early in my career, there was a, a different um, relationship that I had with Boston, just being able to come here, be settled with a veteran group. Now I'm here as the veteran um, over the past few years, just experiencing the playoffs here, um, even regular season. It's, it's been the same thing. I thought it was going to be a little louder in here, um, but I'm expecting the same thing. Uh, going Cap. <laughs> I was ready to come in here and be like, Sam, like, listen, we not going to overreact. It's just one game. It is what it is. It's not that big a deal. This nigga Kyrie coming in talking about I thought it was going to be louder. <laughs> oh, and 12 talking about I thought it was going to be louder. <laughs> That's good. That's good cat, man. Fuck it. We thought it was gonna be louder. Fuck it. Make it louder next time. Boston, is that the best you got? Ha! We ready? I took this jersey off in weeks. <laughs> I think it said I thought it was going to be a lot of
same thing. I thought it was going to be a little louder in here. Um, but I'm expecting the same things. Um, I wanted to bring to without trying to get me out of my element. Uh, my teammates out of my element. But again, the energy's got to be focused towards the game. Luke, only one assist for you, obviously, extremely unusual. Don't think we've ever seen that before in a game you played a lot of minutes in. Uh, what were they doing or what were you guys not doing that made uh, the distribution part of the game so difficult? Uh, they mostly play one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, they didn't send a lot of help, so that's why. Luca, you've obviously been here before, you know, down 0-1 in a series. What do you remember about, you know, the, the first round and the second round, what the next day was like for you guys? What did it look like? What did it feel like? I don't remember. Uh, just a little you lose or you win. Uh, first of four, uh, we got to focus on the next game. Does that give you guys confidence, though? Of course. <laughs> you, know, you want me to say we have no confidence? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to hear you say it. You know, it's good for our stories. Of course. Luca, obviously, Kristaps had a really big first half. Um, just from what you remember playing with him, um, why was he so impactful out there, just taking advantage of pretty much every matchup he had? Yeah, I mean, he was great for them. Uh, he was knocking out shots. He was blocking shots. Uh, so it was he was really, really huge for them uh, on both ends of the floor. Tessie right in the front. What kind of problems does uh, the Celtics uh, five-out offense present for you guys on defense? Uh, their, space, their spacing is great, and they have a lot of shooters. Uh, so I think we got to do a better job uh, taking those three away. Luca, for you guys as a team defensively, what needs to change? I mean, you guys have been so good throughout these playoffs. What, what was different tonight? What did they do to get you guys off, off your front foot? Uh, just like I say right now, uh, we got to take those threes away, and that's that would, was what hurts us the most. Yeah, the threes, the threes, and and the Celtics being able to stick man to man with Drew Holiday, Derek White, second team all defense. Then they got Porzingis or Horford. Like, yeah, I mean, come on, their lineup is ridiculous, but I'm not here to make excuses. I'm not here to say, oh, their team is so good, we can't beat them. No, I'm not here to do none of that. I'm not here to do none of that. I'm not here to do none of that. Jason Tatum has 16 goddamn points, and they won. Y'all niggas got lucky. Poor Zeke has had an amazing first, first half, and he sucked in the second half. I was looking at the picks before this video. Hmm, do I want to take the low arm Brown? Do I want to take the low arm Porzingis? I seen Brown miss five free throws or he would have had 27. I'm like, yeah, nah, I don't like that. I'm going Porzingis again. I'm going Porzingis again. Porzingis, take my fucking money again. Take it. Take it. Luke, statement game. Porzingis under. Y'all know what? Fuck. Take it. I'm not about to overreact because y'all want one low ass game. Okay? 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 And we almost came back on y'all too. What the hell? Luke will be ready in the next game. Kyrie, I'm not sure about. He hasn't played well in Boston in a while. But when Kyrie gets to Dallas, game three, be ready. Be ready. If I was a Boston fan, I'd probably take the Luke under on the assist in this game, but I'm not a Boston fan. I'm going Mavs. I'm going Luke over 31.5. That should be easy. Luke statement game. Kyrie 12 points. You got to step it the F up. P.J. Washington not being able to hit any threes was huge. Um, it would be nice if Derrick Jones could do a little bit more. Tim Hardaway didn't even get a chance to play. Why is Jeff Hardy getting so many more minutes over Tim Hardaway? I'm not sure about that. One, why is Maxi Kleber playing so much if he can't shoot threes? That one's a little confusing too. I'm a little, excuse me, I'm a little confused by that one too. Other than that, that's about it. Had Tatum 16 points, he got his garbage, like he's not even playing. 
Nigga dropped him 60 points and he might to get it. He might to get a ring because his team is so overpowered. There's a reason they won 20 more games than everybody, guys. But I'm not here to make excuses. I'm not going to make no excuses about them being overpowered because they're not. They're choke artists. We just got to let the game be close at the end and they will choke. They will choke. Sam Hauser, you suck. I don't give a damn about them lucky ass threes you made. You won't do that again neither. Neither will Porzingis. No, I'm not a believer. I don't believe in you, Porzingis. I'm not a believer. Nigga, do it again. Do it again. Jason, you talked about in the, the wake of the 2022 NBA Finals how much it just sat with you and you thought about it for what has turned out to be years until you got back to the stage. I know it's only one game, but sort of exercising those demons in game one, getting back there, getting out there, how did that feel? Uh, it felt great. Uh, to be honest, I was nervous. I we know! I was nervous uh, in like a anxious way, right, as, as like a little kid. Uh, it was just it's surreal being in the finals um, and you know when you're young I, I don't know why him talking makes me so angry go back. <laughs> last year was kind of like the wake up call um, when we didn't make it so uh, and them little faces he smack the hell out of this thing the nice, a lot of things if LeBron would have had that Richie on I would have loved it Tatum got it on I hate it <laughs> Put your goddamn hands down. You know Put your hands down, nigga. Won the first game and, you Shut know, the f up. You still have a lot of work to do. Jason, David Penner with ESPN. You guys were able to get through the Heat and the Cavs and the Pacers without Kristaps Porzingis, but what did he mean to getting past the Mavs tonight? Uh, I mean, you always want to have your team at full strength. Uh, you know, we're a good team, right, when guys are down, but we're really, really special when we have everybody. Um, I think just, I said it earlier how seamless his transition was uh, after being away for six, seven weeks and coming into the game and, and having the first half like that. Uh, and that was, that was a big spark for us to start the game. It's on the Why right are you side. down? I'm, I can't even let, Everything he says makes me angry. Tatum, you had 16 points. The only reason you won with 16 points is because of Porzingis. You bitch ass nigga. That's what you were supposed to say. Ugly ass nigga. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm not even a Tatum hater for real. I'm not. I swear I'm not. Rest in peace, Bill Wan, man. He had great energy. At an elite level, he's not defined by his jump shot. Yeah, why is Jaden Hardy on Porzingis? Leans in. Hardy, Hardy tried it on him. Porzingis gets away inside and throws it down. Check in. Porzingis way outside, knocks down another. Do it again! Do it again! Who blocks it again? Three block shots for Porzingis. Pritchett, third leading scorer in the playoffs. What a season he's had. I'm so angry. Goes inside. Oh, what a slam from Jalen Brown. Highlight play after Lovwich. Again, green pushing Porzingis. Trying to play him physical. Another jump shot. Another bucket. I can't even watch this. A big smile and a 21 point lead. Double team. Thank you, Mark Wahlberg. Actually, I love Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I love Wahlbergers. That new movie he got with the dog, man. I cried so goddamn hard watching that movie. <laughs> but fuck Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> Kyrie, it's too late for all that, man. Stop it. What did I just say about the greatest handle in history? Shout out to Doris Burke. First girl to ever do this shit, man. It's very hard. I would say the lesson that I learned was the value in closing out games. We had two games. Well, they've missed their last six. Doncic tries another three. Got it! Look at Doncic! It's like, even if they switch, it's Brown or Przingis. Like it. The bounce. High speed inside. Jones blocked by Brown. Throws it right back. Horford, three-pointer, rushed it way off. Their team is cheesy as hell. Holiday, Tatum, wide open three-pointer. It's good. Boston is just relentlessly attacking off the drive. Irving, shot blocked 
crowd again with the rejection. Okay. It was getting way too many blacks. Pots it in. Jalen Brown at both ends of the floor. And the lead back up to 20. Listen, I don't I don't have anything to say. Good win, Celtics. Great win. You got effing lucky. Great win. Do it again. Luka will be ready. Porzingis is going to drop six points. <laughs> Get ready for it. It's got to happen. It's happening. It's on the way. I know it is. And then we're going to go to Dallas. And we're going to win both. And we're going to go up 3-1. I'm out of here. I didn't ask them to do that. They just do it naturally. So I mean, apparently, there must be something. Oh, there must be something. <laughs>